Last but not least, Patricia Raskin is a nationally recognized multimedia radio talk show host. She is recognized by her peers and listeners as the powerhouse voice behind lifestyle, health and wellness, and personal growth. She's been hosting and producing media programs that focus on positive side of life. She turns obstacles into opportunities and challenges into solutions. Each month, Patricia highlights a score client on her radio show. Listeners call in, ask questions to learn about the business and about the, the assistance that's been provided to them by SCORE. She certainly has become a partner, not only of SCORE, but all of us here in the small business community. Patricia has authored two books, Success, Your Dream and You, which focuses on the five P's for success, pathfinding, and the seven principles for positive living, was her second book. Home-based business always presents its challenges and Patricia has overcome each and every one of them with tremendous success. For these reasons, the United States Small Business Administration is pleased to present the 2015 Rhode Island SBA Home-Based Business Champion of the Year to Patricia Raskin of Raskin Resources Productions Incorporated. It's really wonderful to be with you. I came back here to my New England roots, specifically Rhode Island, at the end or at the beginning of 2008, the very end of 2007, in the height of the recession. I had lived on the beautiful crystal coast of North Carolina in Moorhead City for 10 plus years, and I moved back here to be near my family and to bring my radio program to a larger market. My career started as a teacher and a guidance counselor and positive messaging has always been my calling. I had my first cable television program in Rockport, Mass. in 1982 called Positive People. And I have never strayed from my original mission to exemplify positive role models and help listeners turn problems into solutions. However, when I got here on that cold day at the end of December in 2007, the house that I was renting had its oil tank outside and it was frozen with no heat. As I stood among the many boxes in the freezing cold temperatures, now having to pay for radio airtime, never having had to monetize radio or media before, I asked myself the question, what the bleep was I thinking? <laughs> well, that was 2008, and this is 2015, and I'm standing before you today. I was at a crossroads then, I had a choice to make. I could either find a way to monetize my calling and my passion, or I couldn't do it anymore. So, starting over in my 60s, in a new state, adjacent to the one I grew up in, Connecticut, in a new state, with a relatively new concept then, and it was relatively new at that time, I tried various things, and eventually the answer came to me. If I could help businesses in Rhode Island get their message across in long-form radio, I knew I had something. And that is what I have done. And you know, what I've learned is that you don't do it alone. None of us do it alone. And I have a lot of people that I really feel are very much part of this. And I want to thank them today. I want to thank Paul Giamarco, who is the former program director at WPRO, who believed in my concept over the phone on one cold call and brought my show, Patricia Raskin Positive Living, to WPRO seven years ago. I want to thank Joe Lembo, director of sales at Cumulus Broadcasting in Rhode Island, who guided me along the way. And most recently, Tony Mascaro, the program director at WPRO, who has given me opportunities to fill in on weekday mornings during the holidays. And Claire Eckert, my first marketing and business consultant, who gave me the strong foundation to create my business in Rhode Island. And those here today at my tables. I want to thank you all. If you'd like to stand, you can. If not, just smile and wink. <laughs> first of all, Dr. Tatschkowski, 
with his CEO, Steve Merrill. Dr. Tad is the founder of Centers for Integrative Medicine and Healing, who has been a radio show sponsor of my program from the beginning. And he brings my listeners on PRO a tremendous, dynamic, and much needed message of positive health and hope every single week. Thank you, Dr. Tad. Next, my brother, Russell Raskin, with his wife, Devorah, who was the catalyst in bringing me to Rhode Island. When my parents were here and went to an assisted living, he, we, I came along with them, and it was, it was very special. Nancy Thomas, who is my, my wonderful, excellent, and astute public relations consultant, and keeps me in line. My outstanding bookkeeper, Lisa Wood, who keeps me financially straight and sane. Miriam Ross, who is a former SBA award recipient who supports my work. Phyllis Canava, my friend and exemplary entrepreneur in Rhode Island. Does very well with Office Direct. Steve Garreau, who is the SCORE Chair and on the Executive Committee for SCORE Rhode Island and has been such a great supporter and mentor to me. Thank you, Steve. My fair, well, I'm gonna save you for last. I'm gonna go to my best friend from childhood, if you wanna raise your hand, Ellen Garber Stoko. She was Garber when we were growing up. She's now Stoko. She's my best friend from childhood in West Hartford, Connecticut. I just want to tell you that Ellen received the National Distinguished Principal Award for the state of Connecticut, so several years ago. Very proud of her. And last but not least, my very beautiful and special daughter, Laura Schmiskis, who is do doing such important and groundbreaking work in the area of racial equity and social justice in the New York City schools and way, way beyond. I wouldn't be here without all of you. In closing, I want to say that Rhode Island is a small but mighty state and offers entrepreneurs great opportunity. I feel honored and privileged to be an SBA award recipient. You know, you have to work for it, and it can be done, but you need vision, passion, persistence, resilience, and support. I've been fortunate to have all of those. Thank you very much.